Hithrich Subterranean Caves. So what do you think it could be? Dianoga? Doubtful. I can't hear any water up ahead of us. Vexus. This planet does seem comparable to it, but I don't have enough evidence to believe they are leading us to some sort of death trap. So, Vexus, then I agree. Our inability to speak the same language does not equal an incapability to communicate. Emotion is a shared tongue. I sense, I sense no, no malice from, from these creatures. creatures. Holster your, your paranoia, paranoia for, for the time, time being. I prefer the term vigilance. Sounds more heroic. Wow! A system of caverns leading to this hub, where the dwellings are built right into the hard rock, and the roots from the glowing plants above ground supply them with light and heat below ground. And possibly the tail larger subterranean predators. What a beautiful interconnected ecosystem this planet has. Always looking on the bright side, Prosset. <laughs> they brought us down here for a reason. Perhaps we are about to find out why. We don't have much time. Word of our skirmish might have reached the main droid outpost by now. We have no idea how long the separatists have been here. Could be weeks. But what strategic benefit could this planet offer? It's so removed from the core of the system. Maybe that's the point. You could do whatever you wanted here and no one would know. Construct a new droid factory, build a massive weapon... All scenarios I would rather not entertain. Surely the separatists must have had some running with the indigenous life forms here. Perhaps they have a clue as to what we are dealing with. Seems you're right about that, Master. A sweat. A sweat. Rissa. On it. Our window is open. Our preparations complete. All rejectments are ready to mobilize. Awaiting your orders, Commander. I've told you. Enough with the military titles already. So what are we supposed to call you then, Doctor? No. Yeah. What? No. You don't. I would actually prefer if you didn't speak to me. Stephen, we found something. Sector. S-Z-C. When was this? Just now. We followed as planned. I will escort the true planet for Sector S-Z-C myself. Time to go hunting. It's a scout, all right. Damaged, but still possibly functional. I may be able to access its memory banks, see if I can salvage any information. If it's operational enough for you to retrieve data from it, is it possible it could still transmit information as well? Maybe. Why? Oh, that's why! Everyone, outside, now! Something's happening on the surface. Whatever the separatists are planning here must be beginning. The pants! They're being ripped from the ground! Hold up! Our priority is to project! I'll handle the destroyers! The rest of you, keep these people safe! Yes, Master Windu! <laughs> Quite the impressive show of a strength for a pacifist. But I must say I'm pleased you do come as advertised, Master Windu. 
home world, Harukar, Hulk, 1.92 meters, a color brown, her color not applicable, religion, well, <laughs> that one seems fairly obvious, doesn't it? That's some extensive research. It appears you have me at a disadvantage. More than just one. My name is OTM4. And you are the commander of these droids. Oh, I'm not military personnel. Something you and I have in common, master. A serpent is hired gun. You just do not have a need to hire mercenaries. No. They are simply grow themselves. Enough verbal sparring. I'll show you why they call us Jedi Masters. Such a terrorist. Time to earn my benefits. Not today, clankers. Master Wind is fighting up there. You and the Separatists will find yourselves on the losing end of this conflict soon enough. I don't care about the Separatists or the Republic. I don't care who is right or who is wrong. I only care that this war goes on so that my services are needed and I can be paid for them. Conscience does not drive my decision making, only credits. And that depravity is exactly why you will lose! Awfully confident in your abilities, aren't you, Master? The Jedi believe in a higher power. We fight for a greater cause. The greatest cause there is. Peace throughout the galaxy! Imposing your own moral compass on the galaxy is the head of arrogance. What is it that makes you so compelled to claim to such as an endurance? What world are you trying to fill? What fear are you trying to run from? I fear nothing. I run from nothing. There it is again. That arrogance. Killing you is not the primary focus of my contract. But you are making it the most enjoyable one, Master. I've got you. Thank you, kid. You never let me down. I will always have your back, Master Windu. That's their leader. He's mine. Stay here. Lead the charge underground against the droids. Understood. Let us end this before it gets any more out of hand. I agree wholeheartedly. Rissa, again I ask you to come with me. Yes, Master. The plant life here gets roughly an hour of sunlight a month. Think of all the energy they have to store in that small period of time to live off off. These plants are brimming with power. If the separatists harvest them at their peak and have found a way to harness that photosynthetic energy, they could have a massive power supply, tipping the scales of the war heavily in their favor. Heads up! They're taking no chances protecting this investment. 
Then you make sure their efforts go to waste. I'll go hide. Care to enlighten the mood with a bit more of your patented vision-based humor process? Forgive me, Master Frister, but I do not believe the current situation calls for humor. No! No more lives lost this day! Prosit, brace yourself! The whole thing is caving in! We need to find the leader. We get to him, we shut this whole operation down. Vantage point! Master Windu, how do we stop this? We search the force. It will deliver us an answer. It must, or the entirety of Misrich will die. <laughs>